How do I look? I have the edgy three quarters lighting going on. Perfect. Hello, and welcome to Beyond the Bookshelf. I'm Ethan, and today we're gonna be learning about um, exercise. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm a nerd, I'm, I'm a big nerd, but I also like to uh, beat stuff up. I do uh, martial arty things, and I enjoy it, and so I thought I'd show some of that to you. Anyway, the first part of any doing a warm workout is doing the warm me up -y bit, where you get not, <laughs> Not warm. That's right, get not not warm. The first step is to make sure the camera's level. The second step is to stretch. You have to stretch before, actually that's a lie. The first step is to get warmed up. It's deeply vitally important that you warm up every time because if you don't, then you'll break everything always. Every single bit of your body will just snap. It'll stop functioning for the rest of time. Ugh. Very important to warm up. I am doing a warmy uppy boy by using a rolly boy foam rollers. They're cylinders made out of hard foam that hurt like hell. They're painful. They hurt you. They're helpful because they, um, they make the muscles hurt and the muscles are like, ah, oh, it's time to relax. And then the muscles relax. This is important because if you don't have relaxed muscles then they're tight, too tight, and then they will snap and then you'll die. It's an important part of every workout process is uh, not dying. There's different kinds of rolly boys you can do. Sometimes you have to roll up your glutes. Sometimes you have to roll up your leggy boys. You have to warm up all of the bits, even your back. Uh, my <laughs> chiropractor <laughs> showed me how to pop my back a lot because my back does a lot of a popping. Hold on. So you align this bit like this, right? I'll teach you how to pop your back. And then you, you hard foam cylinder on your spinal bit. You go like, ah, I'm going to relax. Pop, ah, and then you roll down a bit and you do it more. Ow, this hurts a lot, but it's really nice. Ow, the pain is real. I'm also weak, in case you were wondering. Ow, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a pop. Oh. Wonderful. You do this to each of your spines, each of your spinal bits. And then, wow, now you're warmed up. Usually to do a successful warm you uppy boy, you have to also like run around and stuff. It's pretty intense. Okay, so I do martial artsy bits. So in order to work out, you have to get on the floor. In order to get on the floor, you have to bow. Watch. Wow. I did not just do that just to disorient you. You have to have respect for the flaggy boys. That's a big part of martial arts actually, is just like doing the respectful boy. It's super cool. So. Now, here we have a punching bag. You may have seen these before in the movies. Punching bags are cool, because you hit them. You want to learn how to do something? Me too. I'll teach you. First you go like this, and then you go like this, and you go like this, and you go like this, playing attention, and then you go like this, and then this, and then that, and then that, and then that, and that. And then you do it again. That's how you beat somebody up. There you go, now you know. Uh, there are other parts of working out. A lot of people do things that are not martial arts for working out, which is cool. People do things like yoga, in which you like, <laughs> this is yoga, right? People also do things like um, lifting, I think. Is that something people do? I don't know. Oh, also I'm gonna turn on the light. <laughs> so I have the power. Wow. Yeah, sometimes people do lifting. <laughs> you ready for this? You ready for this lifting? Oh, boom. <laughs> Yeah. Feel it in your um, pecs or something. Oh yeah, working out. Oh goodness. <sighs> if you do it wrong, then you will break everything though. So don't, like you won't even break your body. Well, you will, but you'll also break the really, really, really expensive stuff that you're using. So don't do that. Sometimes people do uh, bicycles. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, whoa. And we're going, hot damn dude. This is what I call a bicycle. Look, Ma, no hands. Uh, there's a lot of ways to bicycle. Um, this is only one of them. Uh, you can also, I don't know, not bicycle. That's a way to use a bicycle, is just hang out. This is my seat. There's more. There's always more. You can do an infinite number of things to work out. Uh, sometimes people will run. That's a thing people do. Sometimes people will not run. Sometimes people will really awkwardly like roll on the ground. Wow. And then there's like 
all the different kinds of martial arts you can do. There's a ton of them. Like you can beat people up just like punching and kicking and boom, that's Taekwondo. Boom, you can roll around with people on the ground and do like arm bars and you can do like chokes and stuff. Boom, that's Jiu Jitsu. Uh, sometimes you can like knock people over if you want people to uh, that are standing up to not be standing up anymore. Boom, that's Judo. Uh, you have Karate, which is kind of like Taekwondo, but different. You have Akido, which is Akido, which is, I've never, I don't actually know. You have Swordsy bits where people play with swords. What's that called? Kendo and Kumdo if it's Korean. What else is there? You can like, kickboxing is a thing, I guess. You can like punch people. That's what I was showing earlier on the bag, wow. Oh, there's all kinds of bits with weapons. You wanna play with weapons? Let's go. Weapons are great. I guess there's probably a martial art that talks about like, Eskrima sticks and stuff. This is an Eskrima stick. I enjoy them because you can beat people up with them. Look, it's you. Look, it's me with an Eskrima stick. It's like this long. They're pretty great. You can beat people up with them. Look, ready for this? Kerblau. Boom. That's how you use an Eskrima stick to beat somebody up. You can use like bow staffs and stuff. Bow staffs are long, long boys. Here's some nunchucks. Nunchucks are fun. I love nunchucks. Everybody knows what nunchucks are though. I think that's all based in karate. I'm not really sure though. I, all that I've ever known is that like some of the weapony bits, like here's a little baby swordy. Um, you learn these kinds of things in kumdo and kendo. In general, oh, there's a lot of weapons, like I stream sticks and o staffs and stuff that I think are, they're like not based in Taekwondo, but sometimes you learn them in Taekwondo. I don't even know. Sometimes you have things that you need to beat up. So like, here's Bob. Hi, Bob. He's great. You beat him up a lot. Oh, that's something. In martial arts, you get belts. Sometimes you have to advance in belts. So if you are just beginning, then you are a white belt. Don't worry though, I'm a white belt in a lot of things. It happens. Uh, white belts are cool because then you learn a lot. Then you get to yellow belt. At least where I'm at, this location, it goes white, yellow, green, high green, blue, high blue, red, high red, brown, high brown. Recommended black belt and then black belt. Wow, I completely skipped my high brown belt. I don't even have a high brown belt. Cheating the system. But yeah, so you have to do that. Karate, I think, has fewer belts. There's only like six or something weird like that, but they're like harder to get. Uh, black belt's super intense. You have to do a, a special test just for your black belt, and it's like, goodness, it's really intense. It hurts a lot. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff you can work out with like items that will help you with your working out enjoyment. This is one of them, it's a box. Wait, hold on. Look, it's a box. Wow. You can do box jumps here. Watch this box jump. Look at how much fun this is. Don't you wanna be working out right now? Isn't that just what you want to do? Look at this box jump. Boom. Oh, wow. Boxes are great because you can jump on them. That's what it's all about. There's also like stuff you can do. So here's paddles that you're supposed to hit. You hit them like with your feet and stuff. So you like, and then you like smack them. Usually other people hold them though, which is why that was really awkward and bad. I'm sorry. There's all kinds of stuff you can hit. People have sparring gear so you can like hit each other. We have like rubber knives so that you can like pretend to stab each other. It's fun. We even invented a game that's called spar ball, which is kind of like basketball, only you get to spar. You get to kick people and punch people. It's really fun. Yeah, I think that's about it. I probably forgot a bunch of stuff. Oh, that was the thing. So you just did your working out, your martial arts bits, right? You just had a great time. Wow, that was so much fun. Now it's time to stay. You just lived the life. You just did the working out. That was so much fun. But now you're a ton and you're tired. What's the most important part of working out? Uh, working out. But the second most important part is taking care of your body. So eat food if you need to, because food is important. If you eat protein, boom, then you're gonna get swole. That's how it works. The more protein you eat, the more buff you get. Pro tips. So after you work out, make sure, or then before you work out, make sure that you have enough food in your gullet. Because if you don't, then um, uh, bad things will happen. Anyway, yeah, and I just woke, worked out, so I'm gonna eat this all delicious. Hey, that was that. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe for more workout tips. <laughs> yeah.